Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Silent Hill 2. Um, this episode, um, like I said last time, I'm actually going to switch. I actually switched over to using the original voices. So the voices are definitely going to be different, and it's what I'm actually going to be using <clears throat> throughout the rest of the throughout the rest of the um, series. Um, so I'm doing this today. What the hell is going on with my controller? Um, excuse me. Anyways, um, I'm doing this today because. Um, I was hoping to do maybe another stream with Gavin, but he says he has to work today. So, well, I mean, the, the, I mean, the, it's better, a better. Uh, what's well, a better opportunity to do more of this than I guess? What the heck? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. There we go. Some of the, some. Of the, it's like I don't know why. Like every other Silent Hill game, like between one through three, like they swap the start and select. For like pausing the menu, it's kind of it's kind of cuckoo like that. Cause pause on on two is select for some reason, and then one and three it's both start. That's kind of I don't I never I don't know why they gotta keep switching it like that. The potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. It can, I cannot agree with them. I am a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. All right, this thing, the purple bull key, which is one of many things we need. That uh, what's cuckoo is like you get all that shit just for you know, just for a strand of hair. Oops, did I spoil that? I mean, not really exactly game-breaking spoiler you put all that shit like for that box why why it's just a strand of hair that's a surprise position Definitely bubble nurses up here. Bubble head nurses. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. I got the bent needle. <laughs> Shotgun! Uh. 
<laughs> James just keeps looking at it. And I don't think there's anything else <laughs> in here. Come on, re really? Right. inside the pocket of the white lab jacket examination room key sometimes I actually would forget that, that the, the key is in there and I end up getting stuck definitely the first few times I played this game I, I would not know where to go next and then I realize how would you how would you figure that out <laughs> paper just plain white paper nothing interesting here <coughs> oh, there's more shit yeah there is blueprint or whatever there's a typewriter here I've got no use for this wait a minute what's this there's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in this in the typewriter I can still read the imprint left on it Two four two one. All right, just remember that. Uh, Maria, please get out of my way. That's why I hate having a people with me.
is it that... I think, yeah, I think it's on floor three. Shit. Oh, wait. room. Oh, great. Okay. Thought you were gonna get in the way. <sighs> oh, she really does. Does that help me fight or nothing? just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <clears throat> so comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can.
2124 or 2421? I'll try both. Okay, the first one I did. this last this last one which is after Lou, uh, Lewis or Louis or yeah I think it's Lewis I'll take care of you forever it's my destiny I think I already read that yeah I already did but I don't know if I read it aloud This thing's cuckoo. Oh, what the? Uh, cuckoo ass edit there? Because it got interrupted. Anyways, um, what was I doing? Oh, wait, I have to go to the, the roof. Yeah, that's right. Here we come. I don't think there's anything this. No. Because Cuckoo did it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's read this here. There's something on the floor. Is this a diary? May 9th, rain. Stared out the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th, still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic, weak. Pathetic, weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11th, rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyways? Damn, I wish I wish it would be raining like that, especially with the job that I have. Uh, May 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm, I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th, it's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released, that I've got to go home. I, the, the diary ends here. There are no more entries. What was a diary doing up here? I don't even know whose diary that is. It's kind of a mystery. Oh, shit. <laughs> A 
Oh, what sucks is when after he does that, he he, he just completely cleaves her health. And that's not an, even an option. He completely just demolishes your health. Okay. Oh, that door's broke. Wait, so, something is written on the wall. If Joseph looks calm, he can be taken out of his cell. I think this is like a solitary confinement unit. I do need to be up here. Seven, four, five. Yeah, it is. Maybe it's two nine for this is what's cuckoo. It's it's hard to tell what it is. Um. <clears throat> what the hell? What the hell is it then? I could tell that might be seven four five. What the heck is that first number? I'm got kind of confused here. I don't know what that could be.
Seven. No, that can't be a seven. What the fuck is that? Understand. There we go. What? Was another seven? They look nothing the same. There's nothing inside the box. No, I'm wrong. There's a few hairs inside. Yeah, cuckoo. I think there's another key in key in here. Elevator key. The key. This elevator. Yeah, I'm pretty sure.
<laughs> Laura? Huh? You know my name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. You liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already... I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait! There's something I gotta get! Later, okay? But it's really important! What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I wanna go get it, is that okay? Yes, yes! Is it in there? Yeah, in the back. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat!
kind of looks like it went, went out of bounds of the game. Okay. So I think the save is right around, yep, right here. I'll get this first. So welcome to Brookhaven Hospital's Other World. Um, that will uh, do it for this episode. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.